I wanted to do this video because this is yet again something that I'm revealing to everybody that no one saw that everyone completely overlooked in the Bible. And it's very credible to the days we're living in because you're seeing these hundreds and hundreds of false proven false Trump prophets running around. And this is one of the things, one of the pieces of scriptures that they always point to to justify why there are so many proven false Trump prophets that are running around in these days that have been unequivocally proven to be false prophets. So let's look at this verse that they all go to. Acts chapter 2 verse 17 and it shall come to pass in the last days saith God I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men dream shall dream dreams now I've watched every one of these matter of fact Timothy Dixon and Robin Bullock are two of the ones that really, really emphasize this. Timothy Dixon more so than anybody else. But I've seen all of these Trump prophets go to this verse because they have tried to justify why there are so many Trump prophets that have been proven false. So when they go to this verse, what everybody, incredibly enough, has amazingly overlooked is this specific verse and there's actually two verses this is two verse verses and you go to the entire chapter to get a better understanding of this but these two verses can be found in first Kings chapter 22 verses 22 and 23 and he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all the, his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these prophets. And the Lord has spoken evil concerning thee. Very, very incredible because in this chapter, when you read the entire chapter, you will see that there were 400 prophets that were all spinning the same narrative, just like exactly what you saw with Donald Trump. You're going to unequivocally win this battle, Donald Trump just like what occurred with these 400 prophets where there were 400 saying prophesying the same thing and only one prophet just like I am the only one prophet that stood against all of these false Trump prophets and prophesied something entirely different something entirely different I was the one that stood against many just like what occurred in 1 Kings chapter 22 with Micaiah that stood against the 400 false prophets that were proven false prophets. And it was only Micaiah that was proven to be the true prophet because the Lord put a lying spirit in the mouths of these prophets. And the reason he did this because they were vain, prideful, and satanic. They were the prophets of Baal, false prophets. But you can not only find this in this piece of scripture, you can also find this same thing occurred with Elijah. In the days of Elijah, where he was the one prophet that stood against the many false prophets of Baal, but then you can also go to Ezekiel chapter 13, and you see the exact same thing occurring in that chapter, where Ezekiel was told by the Lord to stand and prophesy against the false prophets of his day. 
You saw this very thing occur all throughout Scripture. But understand, as these ones go, all these hundreds and hundreds of false Trump prophets, when they go to say this, point this out, Acts 2 verse 17, how I will pour out my spirit and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Realize that. As it states that he will pour out his spirit, understand what he's doing. He's pouring out a lying spirit upon these Trump idolaters and Trump worshipers and Trump false prophets. It is a lying spirit that he has given these ones who commit idolatry and worship a man, a false savior, because another very important piece of scripture you can go to that I've pointed out many times, again, is Psalms 146 verse 3. Do not put your faith in a leader princes or son of man because they cannot save very important piece of scripture psalm 146 verse 3 and see this is exactly what all of these trump worshipers and idolaters did and all these trump false prophets they put their faith in a man to save them they put their faith in in Donald Trump as their Lord and Savior and committed idolatry. Committed I idolatry. And this is why the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouths of all these prophets. And the Lord hath spoken evil concerning thee. Y'all be sure to know that. Be sure to know your Bible so you can understand these things and how to identify false prophets. Because they're the ones that would commit idolatry and put their faith in a man to save them instead of the holy word of God. They have put their faith in Donald Trump. And see, incredibly enough, I was the one prophet that stood against many in my day. The one prophet that stood against the hundreds and hundreds of false prophets, just like Micaiah did, just like Ezekiel did, and just like Elijah did. Y'all be sure to know the Word of God and stay in it.